Vieira. Aye. Vieira, aye. Rita. Aye. Rita, aye. Donahue. Aye. Donahue, aye. Holly. Aye. Holly, aye. Fernwald. Aye. Fernwald, aye. Osling. Aye. Osling, aye. Thompson. Aye. Thompson, aye. Carr. Aye. Carr, aye. Pittman. Aye. Pittman, aye. Slattery. Aye. Slattery, aye. Bellotto. Aye. Bellotto, aye. Eleven, aye. Go ahead. Anything else? Uh, also, now the restricted and unrestricted funds are transferred up, totaling one hundred seven thousand four fifty one seventy seven. Motion. We have a motion by Alvin Austin. We have a second by Alvin Pittman. Any questions? Roll call. Vieta. Aye. Vieta. Aye. Rita. Aye. Rita. Aye. Donahue. Aye. Donahue. Aye. Holly. Aye. Holly. Aye. Fernwald. Aye. Fernwald. Aye. Osling. Aye. Osling, aye, Thompson. Aye. Thompson, aye, Carr. Aye. Carr, aye, Pittman. Aye. Pittman, aye, Slattery. Aye. Slattery, aye, Bellotto. Aye. Bellotto, aye, 11 eyes, Thank you. Okay, lastly, uh, on the entire agenda, I have um, some discussion on form the council concerning the metro parking lots. Uh, yesterday, my, at a treasurer's meeting, myself and Mr. Marcel and Mr. Uh, our clerk, Mr. Hauser, that we discussed thoroughly, and we have a we're having a process of going to try to decipher which ones are parking lot owned that are owned by Metro and which ones are owned by City of Blue Island. Either way, there's a third party when it's owned by Metro, it's a third party restriction. Okay, versus if we're owned by Blue Island, Blue Island those are considered. Uh, enterprise <coughs> which are allowed to make money just like a water fund and a golf course and then we're going to decide that will be brought back uh, once we get this information working with passport and getting all this straight out that I will make a report back to council <coughs> how we're going to handle this. Thank you. Any other announcements? No, thank you. Okay, City Attorney. Yes, members of the council, the, the ordinance, the appropriation ordinance is not being uh, presented this evening. There still must be a public hearing and notice of the public hearing, as I understand it, has been, will be published in the, in the newspaper tomorrow. Uh, the ordinance itself is on file in the clerk's office at this point in time for public review. Uh, the next item on the agenda is resolution number 2019-007, a resolution approving and authorizing a collective bargaining agreement between the City of Blue Island and the Metropolitan Alliance of Police for the period 2018, January 1, 2018 to December 31, 2021. We have a motion by Alderman Pauly, St. Any questions? Roll call. Go ahead. Has this ever been reviewed by Dave Meyer? I've, I've asked a couple of times and... I have no idea if Mr. Meyer has reviewed it or not. I, I because in the past when we've done contacts, <coughs> he's looked at you know, what the long-term financial implications are for the city. And I got an email from Mr. Marzell saying that the... <coughs> The first year increase would actually amount to 8.89 percent. Well, no, I, that, that's not quite the case. But what happens is, I, I saw that email. What happens is you, you have a <coughs> scale for the uh, first six years of an officer's time in office, and with each year, they they gain an increase in their salary over and above the across the board increase which is accorded to all officers and so in those first six years until they reach over six in in terms of uh, employment yes they do move up but that that has been the case in the city of Rhode Island for well over 10 years in the last three contracts that I, I mean that the last the two prior to this I was not involved in but even before that <coughs> when I was here so that that's the way it works and that's the same case in the fire department and then also in public works public works, excuse me, public works and the clerical staff and the police I don't know if they have a six-year scale but fire does and so yes there are 
automatic increases, but those are built into the contract, and then you have, of course, as I said, made across the board increase. So there may be instances where an officer, when they move from year one to year two, they'll move, like, under this contract, they would move from, let's just use a first year officer, 53,424 to, to 58,365. 58, so that's, yes, that is a very big move, but I'm gonna presume Mr. Meyer has reviewed prior contracts, and so I don't know that to be the case, but I'm going to presume that. Uh, whether he's actually looked at this one or not, I don't know, but that's really not a fair way to describe uh, what takes place generally for most of the officers who in year one will receive a 2.5% increase, and then in years three, four, two, three, and four will receive 3% increases which were the increases that we discussed and that we were authorized to, uh, that you authorized me to negotiate with the, uh, the Metropolitan Alliance of Police. Uh, they're, they're, just so you're aware, in doing that, in representing to the Metropolitan Alliance of Police, there was authority to, do, to make these proposals. And in exchange, we, were, we received, as I've talked with you in closed session, received a number of concessions. Um, in doing that, we committed, and I don't want to jeopardize the contract and or the potential for a claim now of an unfair labor practice. So whether Mr. Meyer has looked at this or not, I don't know, but the, the, the raises are not over and above 2.5% for the majority of the bargaining unit. Those officers who are in the steps, yes, they will get additional races. Mm -hmm. <coughs> um, does that include the uh, back pay for when the contract was not, when we did not get the contract? Back right? pay for the, the first year of the contract, right. and then for the second year from January 1 okay. through whenever we implement the contract, and then most all of the other financial. Uh, Arrangements only go back to January 1 of this year. Okay? So we have a motion, we have a second. Yes, second. We, do. we do have that on. Okay. okay. We need roll call. Vieta. Aye. Vieta, aye. Rita. Aye. Rita, aye. Donahue. Aye. Donahue, aye. Holly. Aye. Holly, aye. Farrell. Aye. Farrell, aye. Osling. Osling, aye. Thompson. Aye. Thompson, aye. Carr. Aye. Carr, aye. Pittman. Aye. Pittman, aye. Slattery. Abstain. Slattery, abstain. Gelato. Aye. Gelato, aye. Ten eyes and one abstention, Your Honor. Thank you very much. Thank you for approving that. And as I understand it, the FO or the MAP membership approved this unanimously as well. So we'll get the clean copies signed and put in place. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Any reports, committee development? Uh, no report, Your Honor. Uh, our last meeting was canceled due to the um, length of uh, appropriate whatever we were on that night. It went on forever. Um, and uh, so we've got to reschedule it. So. Uh, finance Committee. Oh, okay. Um, finance Committee met on February 5th. Member members present Alderman Thompson, Vieira, Holly, Farrenwald, Ostling, absent was Alderman Frosto. Also present was Director Marzell, Janelle Hunt, and Ali Tal Talbot. Talbot. Uh, no public comment. Committee approved the following. Accounts payable for February 13, 2019 in the amount of $321,104.85. I make that in the form of a motion. We have a motion. We have a second. We have holding. Any questions? Roll call. Vieta. Aye. Vieta, aye. Rita. Aye. Rita, aye. Donahue. Aye. Donahue, aye. Holly. Aye. Holly, aye. Farrenwald. Aye. Farrenwald, aye. Osling. Aye. Osling, aye. Thompson. Aye. Thompson, aye. Carr. Oh, did you Car. say my name? Yeah. Carr. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mike must have just gone out here. Yeah, there we go. Carr. Aye. Carr, aye. Pittman. Aye. Pittman, aye. Slattery. Aye. Slattery, aye. Lotto. Aye. Lotto, 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 aye. Lot
Finance Com Committee also approved payroll for January 25th, 2019 in the amount of $349,823.35. I make that in a form of a motion. We have a motion a second by Alderman Vita. Any questions? Roll call, please. Vieta. Aye. Vieta, aye. Rita. Aye. Rita, aye. Donahue. Aye. Donahue, aye. Holly. Aye. Holly, aye. Fernwell. Aye. Fernwell, aye. Osling. Aye. Osling, aye. Thompson. Aye. Thompson, aye. Carr. Aye. Carr, aye. Pittman. Aye. Pittman, aye. Slattery. Aye. Slattery, aye. 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 Thank you much. Okay, under discussion, um, the Finance Committee discussed um, the purchase of two Chevy Tahoes on September 4th, 2018. Finance Committee submitted a letter to Mayor Vargas containing 21 questions concerning the purchase of the Chevy Tahoes for a reply in seven business days, which would be February 27th. Um, the committee reserves the right to submit supplemental questions upon receipt of the previous response. <coughs> um, I'll also put uh, Mr. Fairmont, or Alderman Fairmont, put the questions on the back table if anyone would like to read them. As I stated, I received an order this morning and now I receive them, we'll respond to them appropriately. Thank you. Um, anything else? Uh, yes. Um, the Finance Committee also contacted Cook County Sheriff Department of Financial Crimes. The, the, the department cannot provide forensic investigation um, accounting services for municipalities anymore. The director of the financial crimes was very familiar with our situation. If they did investigate this matter as a crime, they would neither deny nor confirm that the investigation was underway. No further business. The meeting was adjourned at 10.15. Our next meeting is February 19th. 2019, 7 o'clock, East Annex. Thank you, Public Health and Safety Committee. No report, Your Honor. Our January meeting was canceled due to lack of a quorum. We did have a meeting tonight, and our next meeting will be March the 12th. March the 12th? Yeah. At, at 6 o'clock. All right, thank you very much. Municipal Services Committee? Our next meeting is February 26, 19, 2019, at 6 p.m. here in the East Annex. Thank you. Judiciary Committee? Our next meeting is next week, Tuesday, February 19th at 6 p.m. here at the SNX. Any automatic announcements or comments? Go ahead, Alderman. Uh, Mayor Parks, thank you. I wrote up a letter. I did receive the email from the Finance Committee. I additionally have questions. I'm not going to go through each one of them, but I wanted to serve you with them tonight, just speaking on myself. but. I'll read the letter. Um, it says, Dear Mayor Vargas, February 12th, City of Long Island. I'm writing to you as one of the aldermen of the City Council and as an elected official with a sworn obligation to serve the people of Long Island in an honest and transparent way. I remain very concerned over the continued refusal by this administration and by you personally to fully explain the nature of your recent unauthorized purchases. Your behavior and judgment both making the purchases and the subsequent refusal to allow for independent investigation are alarming. I and many members of the City Council continue to demand that you honor the promise you made to the Council and to every taxpayer present and listening online at our last meeting, who all clearly heard you say you would agree to a full independent investigation, only to watch you change your mind and block the investigation an hour later. I understand that some members of the Finance Committee have drafted questions and uh, to attempt to uh, legitimize your refusal to comply with an investigation, and I, along with many, feel this insufficient in regard to addressing this very serious matter. The elected leader of the city to insist that he cannot speak for himself and answer to these very serious concerns is unfortunate. Your constituents deserve better. However, if written responses are the only way you will answer the questions that need to be answers, answered, that I respectfully request full and complete answers to the attached questions. And like I said, I have exactly 29 questions here. I won't go through each one of them. Most do not overlap the ones submitted by the Finance Committee, that's so they are different questions. No. Okay, Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Just wanted to. Uh, Wish a uh, happy birthday to, to my dear colleagues, uh, Alderman Carr, Alderman Slattery, and Alderman Rita. And it's also for Pulitzer's birthday this month as well. Uh, so. well I was going to say that it's just kind of interesting that with $14, <laughs> we only have two birthday mates. Their birthday was on the same day. Alderman Slattery and Alderman Rita. Okay. Happy birthday. Yeah. Thank you. I just wanted to make sure I didn't misunderstand Alderman Guado. Uh, I thought I heard you say that the questions were submitted to legitimize the lack of an investigation. It's not taken to uh, personal offense to the Finance Committee. I'm actually agreeing to the questions that you guys are asking and asking additional questions. My issue is, what to what end? We're asking questions just to get answers. He is an attorney, and he's going to respond to questions and, and, and not respond at the same time probably to questions, because what authority do we have to even ask these questions? 
my issue is um, you can ask questions, I can ask questions, uh, Alderman Ms. Thompson can ask questions, Alderman Slater can ask questions, but what's the end result? That's my issue. I understand, but I, I did feel that since we were invited to ask questions, we should have been a call or something. And that's why I yeah. referenced the audience. All right, thank you. Anything else? Go ahead, Alderman. Well, I'd like to announce that we are having for Black History Month our annual gathering, and we have a new place at the township. And, um, 